Today I'm going to teach you how to build the Pantheon multi-launch component in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. If you haven't heard of Pantheon, it's a new coaster that opened up this year at Busch Gardens in Virginia. Please stick around to the end of the video because I have a full run through of the entire ride that I'm going to show you. But first, I'm going to teach you how to build this cool multi-launch thing. I have some real footage here of the ride, which is provided by Coaster Studios. Thank you so much to Taylor for letting me use part of the video here. Uh, please go over and click over his channel. It's a super awesome channel and I watch every single video that they do. Links to all his stuff is in the description below. Go subscribe and all that good stuff. Okay, back to Pantheon. It's a multi-launch coaster, which basically means, you know, it launches more than once. Near the beginning of the ride, the train goes up a top hat, but doesn't make it up all the way. This is by design because it goes backwards, transitioning onto a new piece of track, then it goes up into a vertical spike. Then it sails back down, hits another set of boosters, which will send it over the top hat and through the rest of the ride. This is a super cool feature of this roller coaster, and I'm going to show you how to do it in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Now, a quick note, you do need OpenRC T2 to make this work, so you're going to have to have that installed and set up. It's free and takes just a couple minutes. If you want to know how to do that, uh, click on this video up in the top corner of the screen. I'm also going to put a link down in the description. Go watch that video, set up OpenRC T2, come right back here, and let's do it. First, you're going to start a new park. Make sure these three cheats are enabled. Disable clearance checks, allow arbitrary ride type changes, and show vehicles from other track types. Pretty sure those are the only three you need. Step one, you're gonna start with a twister coaster and go ahead and build the Pantheon layout or whatever layout you wanna build. When you get ready to build the top hat part, make sure you do a boost. Now don't worry about setting the boost speed yet because we're gonna change the ride type later and it's gonna end up changing the boost speed. So you're gonna have to reset it anyway. So just leave it alone for now. By the way, I'm well aware that this is not the exact Pantheon layout. All I'm doing right now is just making this a complete circuit as fast as I can so I can teach you how to do the multi-launch component. So later on, we'll do an actual realistic recreation. All right, we square? Cool. Step two, after the ride is completely built, go ahead and erase the curve here that goes into the boost. And then we're gonna essentially build backwards and go up to the vertical spike. Make sure you include a few boost pieces. After the vertical spike is done, you're gonna to wanna to go back to that first spot where we erased that initial curve and then just connect it right back. Now you have to do it in that order, otherwise this whole thing won't work. Now I need to stop right here and give credit where credit is due. So Marcel Voss, thank you uh, for helping me figure this out. Marcel actually went into his game and did this for me and figured it out because I'm not smart enough. So thanks Marcel. All right, step three, you're now going to turn the entire thing into a giga coaster. You're going to notice that the vertical parts are all going to go away and if you have any other inversions like the barrel roll here it's going to go away as well so what you're going to do next is build an lim launch coaster for each space that's been erased and just fill it in also now is a good time to go ahead and set your boosters to the right speed you may have to tinker with it a little bit but you want the boost to be slow enough that it doesn't make it over the first top hat but fast enough that when it goes through the vertical spike, it obviously makes it through the second time. Now the very last thing you'll do is make the colors all the same. And then you are donezo, my friend. You now have a fully functional Pantheon multi-launch component. Now you can do this in any coaster you build, honestly. It doesn't have to just be for Pantheon. You can also do as many of these as you want. You can build five of these in one coaster. It's a super fun idea. It adds a really cool element to your coaster and all thanks to OpenRC T2. Now you really need OpenRC T2. You, if you don't have it, you're missing out. So you really wanna get it. Okay, now here is the moment you've all been waiting for, hopefully. This is the Pantheon full run. Now this is the actual recreation that I did uh, as best as I could to the true ride. So here it is, enjoy it. Yay, we made it back to the station. Again, thank you so much for Coaster Studios for letting me use one of their videos, and thanks to Marcel for being my brain. 
Um, and hey, you know what? I make other RCT videos. If you like this one, there's another one uh, right here. So click into that one if you like laughing and if you like fun and watch that video next. Really appreciate you watching this video. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And honestly, if you didn't enjoy it, like the video as well. The dislike button is a useless feature. And if you really want to get back at me for making this terrible video, hit that like button and that will teach me a lesson.